Welcome back to The Big Picture. I'm Penny Wolfgang, in for Phil Arno, and we are joined by Manny Lazama, a prominent member of the community, as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. I know WBBZ is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month with a television special that's going to air on Tuesday, September 15th at 8 p.m. And in addition to the Institute, we're going to meet community leaders and visit the Goya Foods facility in Angola. You mentioned it before. How important is the Goya, it's called Goya Gives Campaign to our area? Well, traditionally, when you come, when you're a Hispanic American, you always want to find the comfort foods and foods that take you mm -hmm. back in memory, right? And I think Goya has the great diverse product in our supermarkets like Wegmans, Tops, and even Aldi's, all those small supermarkets. And it's important that they are giving us the opportunity to be accessible for us to reach and cook and make some fantastic meals. So they've been very prominent and very helpful. They basically. have, yes, they have their great donation. They have donated the bags. Uh, in this past summer, we gave uh, the bags away to uh, many community members. And what a joy we had, uh, given those with the elected official support, uh, the Buffalo police that came and helped. We had Russell Sabator handing the bags and all of the board members. Of, co of course. <laughs> right, and all the board members that were just, they yeah. work tireless. All the volunteers with our Hispanic uh, uh, board community is amazing. So to get on a, a more serious subject, how these days, as you and I were talking before, are so full of tension with so much going on locally and across the nation. Oh, explain, Manny, which you're really good at, how important it is that we live together peacefully in this diverse society that we have. Well, Penny, you know, I was in Chicago before I came back home to Buffalo, and it's very sad to see everything that is happening. Today, more than ever, the leadership in our government needs to really step up and do their job. They need to guide us to what a success story needs to become. What I'm talking about, all the elected officials, our mayor, they need to continue to do how they've done so far. Buffalo has no room for nonsense. We have no room for discrimination of any kind, and we need to stay just focused on the success of that. We need to ensure that no outsiders are coming to disrupt our culture, and we need to remember who we are. We are an all-American city. We are a community that are very willing to help each other. I will tell you a very short story. When I first moved into Buffalo, I came into Derby. And as I was loading my groceries, some guy came and helped me trying to load up my groceries in my car. My first initial reaction was I wanted to beat this guy up. But then my father-in-law then at the time said, relax, this is Buffalo, it's normal, everybody helps you. And from then on, I realized that I wanted to be part of this culture. I wanted to be part of Buffalo. I am a Buffalonian, and I love it. You know, it's funny. I forgot that you were from Brooklyn <laughs> originally, and, you know, I'm not from Brooklyn. I'm from Manhattan, New York City. So, you know, it's not the same. But I forgot when you said that, and it is so different living, coming, you know, from downstate, from that New York City environment to, to coming here. It's like, it's a different world. It's, it's a different world. You're working with Casimiro Rodriguez from the Hispanic Heritage Council of Western New York, who is a prominent role model here in the community and some other prominent important person too, people, the mayor and some others. Want to, want to tell us about who that is? Yes, so Casimiro Rodriguez has been, um, his anniversary is actually coming up, Penny, in 10, 10 years, 10, 10 year anniversary of his uh, success of this organization. Um, there is a lot of other uh, prominent elected officials that have contributed to our organization, like Tim Kennedy, uh, Brian Higgins, Byron Brown, uh, Kathy Hochul, who has just been unbelievable supportive of, uh, of the Institute. And there is a lot of not just the elected officials, the board members that have worked tireless to make this uh, uh, a dream come true. And it's only a matter of time before we build up and get ready and then start moving into a next project. But Casimiro has worked very, very hard on this project. So. 
I'm excited to be part of For this. For a long time, too. For a, yes. And this just shows, when you said this, all how diverse and how many members of the community, like Tim Kennedy, the mayor, it's not only one segment, as you've pointed out, of the community. It's everybody. I think it's everyone, and I think that that's what you got to embrace. you got to embrace the city of Buffalo and how everyone is out to help each other. It's just a huge pandemic in a different way if you really think about it. Buffalo is very committed to help each other. Whenever somebody is at harm, do you need a fundraising for this or this, there is always someone that is going to come and help. And I think that we need to concentrate on that. We need to remember who Buffalo is and remember to be proud to be a 716 no, member. That's so true, the city of good neighbors. People can reach out to the Hispanic Heritage Council at their website, hispanicheritagewny.org. Thank you, Manny Lazama, for joining us. We encourage everyone to watch our Hispanic Heritage Month special Tuesday, September 15th on eight, at 8 p.m. on WBBZ-TV. As we end this edition of The Big Picture, we're ending with a musical presentation performed by students from the Buffalo Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. I'm Penny Wolfgang, in for Phil Arno. Thanks so much, so much for watching The Big Picture and WBBZ-TV. Por eso la quiero yo tanto, por siempre la llamaré. Oh